Hey guys, today I want to show you the Biden-Harris Democratic Presidential Nominee Ritual for Wormwood and World War. As you know, Joe Biden chose Kamala Harris as his VP running mate on 8-11-2020. And that's what my channel is all about, Revelation 8-11, the Wormwood event. And also the coding of Revelation 6.12 and 9.11 that gives us our 33.13, our 24th star number. We move 33 verses from Revelation 6.12 to Revelation 8.11 and 13 more to Revelation 9.11. The Great Earthquake and Apollyon will be part of our Wormwood event. And this 3313 is all about Joe Biden and World War. If we look at Joe Biden's birthday, he was born on November 20th, 1942. And we had the end of World War II on September 2nd, 1945. That's 33 months, 13 days, our 3313 for our 24th star number. Thirty-three, thirteen. 33 months, 13 days. So that's our first reference here. That's our Joe Biden connection to Wormwood and World War. Kamala Harris chosen on 8-11. This was a pretty easy one to figure out here why Kamala Harris is the vice presidential nominee and why they chose this symbol as their Biden-Harris. campaign symbol here. The root word of Harris is Harry. We have Harry, Harriet, Harris, Harrison. All have the root word Harry, which means make war, lay waste, ravage or plunder. We have our E and our Biden. Couldn't make it any more clear what they're foreshadowing here. War three, World War three. Then we have the podium here where we have text united to 30330. This is related to JFK and Wormwood as well. In English Ordinal Gematria, Wormwood sums to 126. But what I'm going to do is simply mirror each number of the English Ordinal value. And it sums to 333. The mirrored values su sum to 333. That's why they had the 333 on Kamala's and Biden's podium. The other 333 is connected to JFK. Kamala Harris was born on October 20th, 1964. JFK assassination, 11-22-1963. 333 days. Kamala Harris was born 333 days after the JFK assassination. So that's why we have our 333 here, our Wormwood reference, JFK reference, and our mirrored Wormwood Gematria reference, chosen on 811. I'm going to talk about the 612th prime. Our 33, 13, 24 star number. This begins at Revelation 612. The 612th prime is 4513. 
4513. This is related to the World Wars. The United States Declarations of War. First five formal declarations of war. Then after World War II, to be an official war, has to be authorized by the United Nations Security Council and funded by Congress. Our first five wars, and then the next six, or next seven here, after World War II. So our 12th war is our Libyan, first Libyan civil war. So World War I was the fourth war. World War II is the fifth war. The most recent official war was the first Libyan civil war. So the number 13 war will be World War Three. That's our fourth, fifth, thirteenth war. Our 612th prime. And the first Libyan civil war, this is our 12th war. This foreshadows World War III. And the Wormwood events, that war began on February 15th, 2011. It lasted eight months, one week, and one day. There's our 811 for Revelation 811. Now if we take a look at this war, In relation to the pivot point, that's the Great American Eclipse. We're going to add six months, six, six years, six months, six days to the beginning of the 12th war, which was 215 2011. We had six years, six months, six days that consists of the Great American Eclipse on August 21st, 2017. And then we're going to add our 612th prime to this date in the same format. That gets us to February 3rd, 2022. So the Great American Eclipse, we have the 666 and the 4513. With the August 21st, 2017 eclipse is our pivot point. Uh, this eclipse was Millennium Lunation 218. August 21st. Twenty seventeen Millennium Lunation two one eight. This one one seven one is what they call the Brown Lunation number. We subtract nine hundred and fifty three to get the Millennium Lunation number. The number of lunations since the beginning of the millennium, since the beginning of two thousand. So we have two one eight. Moon and Hebrew Gematria sums to 218. Our Libyan Civil War that began on February 15, 2011. It's in the 218 country code. And it gets us to 2-3-2022, just a couple of days into the Tiger Year. The Chinese Tiger Year starts on February 1st. And I've been talking about the beginning of World War III on 12 2021 and the end on January 31st, 2022. Just a few days later in the same, same area, we have 2 3 2022. And I'll get into why we'll be looking at this, why the end of World War III is 131. And we have more to come after World War III or during World War III.
So I want to talk a little bit about Barack Obama here before I talk about this more about this Beirut Lebanon bomb we had on the fourth. I want to show you something with Barack Obama and this date of February third, twenty twenty two. So Barack Obama was born on August 4th, 1961. And he will be 3,157 weeks old on February 3rd, 2022. 3,157, the prime factorization is the fourth prime times the fifth prime times the 13th prime. It's back to our 45, 13. 7 is the 4th prime, 11, 5th prime, 41, 13th prime. Gets us to our 45, 13. That's how old Barack Obama, the prime factorization will be on 2, 3, 2022. So if you go back and look here, with August 4th, 2020, we had the Beirut, Lebanon ammonium nitrate bomb. This was Barack Obama's 59th birthday. Uh, this was a Mercury ritual. Mercury was involved in this. Remember, Mercury is the messenger of the gods. Mercury is associated with the number 28. Mercury's magic square sums to 2080. The two interior planets, Mercury and Venus, have maximum elongation numbers and that Mercury has a 28 degree maximum elongation. We have a 59 day rotation period on Mercury. 59th birthday of Barack Obama. Mercury is associated with the color orange. Ammonium nitrate burns in this orange color. And of course our reference to the golden ratio would be that Barack Obama signs his name with the phi. But I have here 28,000 days after the adoption of the Lebanon flag was August 4th, 2020. The Lebanon flag features the Lebanon cedar. It was adopted on December 7th, 1943. Had 28,000 days exactly, you get 8 4 2020. And the biblical reference or the biblical symbolism from this explosion in Lebanon Behold, the Lord, the Lord of hosts, shall lop the bow with terror, and the high ones of stature shall be hewn down, and the haughty shall be humbled. And he shall cut down the thickets of the forest with iron, and Lebanon shall fall by a mighty one. We had this mighty explosion in Lebanon. They were comparing this explosion to Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The two places where nuclear weapons were allegedly used in, first used in World War. This was a one kiloton explosion. Kilotons often referenced in nuclear, or referenced in the size of nuclear detonations. The bow is the main branch of a tree. We have the cedar Lebanon. If you look up Lebanon in the Bible, there's many, many references to Lebanon. King Solomon's chariot was made from the Lebanon cedar. A lot of interesting Lebanon cedar connections in the Bible. Just symbolism and forecasting of World War III here. One more thing here I want to show you with the 4513, or I should say this date of 2 3 2022. If you look at the Cheyenne Mountain Complex, it was officially named the NORAD Cheyenne Mountain Complex on January 20th, 1965. 
if we go to this 2-3 2022 date, that's the beginning of the 2977th week after the naming of NORAD, the Cheyenne Mountain Bunker. And there were 2,977 victims on 9-11. So we have our Barack Obama, 45-13, with his age, 4th, 5th, and 13th wars, or the three world wars. The pivot point with the 45-13, with the Great American Eclipse. Barack Obama, connection here. I've been talking about for quite a while. If you remember back when Barack Obama first became president, February 24th, 2009, we will rebuild and we will, re we will recover that famous speech that he gave, foreshadowing, rebuilding after the Wormwood event, rebuilding after World War III. Remember Trump, the election, the last election was on 11-8. Most of the world would have written that as 8-11. So the Trump election in 2016, also a reference to the Wormwood event. Okay, guys, uh, that's it for now. Uh, I'm going to try to do another one here in a couple days. And then I have to get my Capricorn video out by the 30th. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.